Uh, today I'm going to try uh, a Fat Carver version of a Samurai. I'm going to use an orange tube this time. I'm going to slide my thread in between the inner and outer to start it. Bind that on and then move back to where I want my butt to be. Snip off the spare. Uh, for the butt I'm going to use uh, this is an orange mirage tinsel. Pull out a strand of that again behind my tie-in thread. Slide it up to the point I want to start and a couple of wraps back over itself. A bit of varnish at the point I'm going to wrap the tinsel on. So I want to wrap the tinsel on bare tube. So this just helps to stop it from sliding about. A few turns and then tie that off but don't cut them off and bring you back up towards the front of the tube and come back down again. Now, first part of the body on this one is gold holographic flat braid. So I'm going to tie that in on my side and come back and take it forward about two thirds of the way along the body. Now, wrap on the flat braid. across, fold it back on itself and a couple of turns over. Stops it from slipping out. I want a little ball of gold double. So take some gold double. Pin it on. Tip is if you get some of the fibers up here to put on one turn just to catch them and that'll then help you with something to bind down on. And here we're going to make a loose straggly ball. Underwing on this one I'm going to use a little bit of a hot orange fox, one and a half times the length of the, the body in this because this one's actually going to have three portions to the wing. Find that on. Now our two straggly ends here that we left up of the mirage. We can now pull through our ends and tie down on top of the wing. Cut off the butts. Add a little dab of super glue into that and before it dries wrap down on itself. I'll stop that pulling out. Next portion of the wing I'm going to use Parry Brown Tanuki. Take a bunch out of that. Place that on top. This one I want to be longer than the previous one. Put on a couple of turns, then with your nail, spread out the tie in point just to cloak the tube a little bit. That should do just give you a little bit of the fairy brown protruding out beyond the orange on an underview. Now another bit of flash in the wing. This one is uh, an angel hair. It's a fat carb of bronze. We take out a few fibers of that, and that seems to be a mix of purples and bronzes and golds. Place that on top of our fairy brown. Turns, pull it back on itself. Now these 
and we're going to put on another wing, under wing or overwing of black here, so we can sort of stagger the cutting through of that. And again, a little bit of super glue and bind it down before it dries. Top part of this wing, I'm going to use uh, black Super Pro Fox. So bunch of that. Strip out the fluff at the base of it. And apply that over the top of the whole wing. curl as well, but for this one I'm not going to. Then we're going to put on jungle cock, roughly the length of the body, because we're tying it in in the fluffy bit. It'll actually sit fairly well for you, because once you get up into these bits of the stock, the shape of the stock tends to make the jungle cock fold up to one side or the other. So, the front of this one I'm going to use a mix that I made which is a mix of holographic gold, gold, tangerine, uh, copper and orange light brights. I'm going to make a dubbin ball as before. Cut one turn just to catch it. I'm going to add a dab of super glue there just to stop this thing from slipping because of the shape of it. And we create a big ball at the front of the play. Now you can use a needle or you can use your scissors. I'm going to use the scissors, separate out the point, and use it to pick and cut out. some fibers to make this nice and straggly and rough. And again I'm going to put a little dab of super glue just at the front of that to stop it from sliding. Now I'm going to take a bunch of these and I'm going to align the fibers by pulling them past each other at the end. I'm going to make a false hackle out of that, tying it in across itself at the middle point, and then folding it back. Push that tight in there, and one turn or two turns across the top of it. That gives us a whole halo of light bright. Now, on this one gonna have two. I'm going to use a fluorescent orange dyed golden pheasant rump feather. That's the first one. Separate out find the tip. Tie it across the tip, fold it back. Super glue. Put the hackle pliers, fold the hackle. You're only going to get one turn out of this. On 
flip the stock back, wrap over. And remove the lid. After that, I'm going to put a black peasant rump feather. So, same again, we'll take the tip. This time I'm going to double it. This takes practice. Tie in tip, fold back, turn it across itself. Get it super clear on the thread. You don't have to cut this in tight because it's a black ackle, you can leave a little bit out and that leaves it less likely to slip. Now I want a gold hybrid cone. I'll set that on there. Put on a little bit of super glue. And then push the cone tight in. That till it sets, and then we need to fix the cone in place, take the fly off, fold back your hackles, cut off leaving one and a half to two mil, and flame this time vertically. Just touch the flame down to it. Blow it to set it. In there. There's a fat carver variant of the samurai.